Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Missouri Valley Conference. Now, Creighton leads at all time, but you got to look at it recently. Southern has won nine of the last 13 meetings. Dana Altman is 90 and 17 in this building, Charlie, but four of those 17 losses to Southern Illinois. But the last three times they've played, Dana Altman's ball club's won. But the game that matters is the one right now. Game on in America's Renaissance Conference, the Missouri Valley Conference. And the first possession belongs to Creighton. Southern Illinois, known for its defense, trying to recapture that magic, and immediately the Blue Jays go to Kenny Lawson Jr. And it was one-on-one -on -one defense, not any help coming, no double team at least. In fact, Chris Lowry told us today he's going to rely on Nick Evans to cover Lawson by himself in the post, and Faye answers. I think it's smart to go inside with the basketball if you're the Salukis for a couple of reasons. One is the potential for drawing some fouls. They go right back to Lawson, again singled against Evans. This one offline, and Southern Illinois has got the rebound in the hands of Justin Bocock. Southern's running more this year, Mitch, than they have in the past. More of their offense is off transition. High low, and Evans able to score. Nice, nice job by the Salukis that time. And a fast start for the Oh, my. And a fast return by Justin <laughs> Carter. So much for my fast start. <laughs> Here's a nice play right so here. Fade foul down, foul that high low drop. Freeman. That's a nice job by the Salukis. Lawson got caught on the wrong side. And you've talked so often about how you can enter the post on ball reversal. Well, and the, and the other thing, too, is you cannot stop that once the ball's in the air going down. The whole thing is your defense has to keep the ball from going to that high post, and then it has to get all over. Well, shooting's been a problem for Creighton. They are last in the league at 68%. Now, when would you think you'd see Creighton last in three-point shooting percentage in the league and last in foul shooting? Well, I, I never would have thought it would happen. Three-point play gives Creighton a one-point lead, but Southern Illinois off to a very crisp start in this game. Defense switching right there to keep a hand up on Freeman. They try to go high-low again. They try to enter it from the wing as they go post to post, and Creighton knocks it out with 13 to shoot. Creighton got to use their press a little bit. That can work one of two ways for them. It can either speed the game up and cause turnovers, or it can slow the Salukis down. It has been really part of the Dane Altman oh magic. My. And now a casual turnover by Bocott. Ashford to the other end, out of control, and Carter follows. That's why you tell guys to run the floor and hustle. That's the whole key to that right there, a hustle play. Carter's a key to these guys, too. He had 21 against Michigan and a narrow loss to the Wolverines on a neutral floor. And last year against Kentucky in the NIT in this building, he was very, very good. A little bit of a mismatch right there with Harriman and Faye. Faye shooting the ball more inside this year, Mitch, than he has in the past. Using his strength. He's a good turn and face guy. It just depends how far he's out turning and facing. Dillard, nice ball fit. Kenny Lawson Jr. averaging seven rebounds a game. He had 14 at Indiana State earlier this year. Creighton's pushing the ball, too. Both these ball clubs are. What a take by Kenny Lawson Jr. putting the ball on the floor and attacking the rim. You're going to have to get more help for Evans on a, on a play like that. Anytime you've got a center driving the ball, goodness sakes, somebody needs to stick their nose in there. Are you surprised Southern's not going to double him? I think I think they probably will are waiting to see what's going to happen. Now, Kenny Lawson Jr. is one of the Blue Jays that's good at the line. He's 79%. So if he's not making him, it's a problem for Creighton. Well, here comes an improved player right here, Mitch, for the Salukis. I think you're going to enjoy watching Booker if he can stay out of foul trouble. He's really playing uh, a much more efficient game than he was a year ago. Highly regarded two years ago when Southern Illinois was able to sign him out of the St. Louis area. Ooh. Change of pressure right there. And a little bit of a, looks like a matchup zone for Dana Altman's ball for A huge game for both of these teams. I don't know what you're doing the next two hours, but you might just want to break the remote and watch this because both teams are desperate to win the game. Bocott for three. 
tough shot, Justin Bocot. Three-point basket, Justin Well, that's what SIU needs right there is for Bocot to step up. He's got a lot of ability, man. Dillard with an alert turnover. Good push. Bocot trails the break. Booker stick back. That's the thing that Booker can do. He just gets over everybody else. He maybe doesn't have the best position, but he just jumps through everyone. Southern Illinois leading by one. Antoine Young. Rocky in the game now for Creighton. The Blue Jays will play a ton of guys. They keep the scorer's table busy. Rocky for three. The freshman out of suburban Twin Cities. Ashford along. He can do that now. That's the thing that the Juco transfer can do. He can shoot the ball. And a steal. We have seen Creighton in the years past in this building get on a feeding, feeding frenzy. It's then by Brown Searles and by also by Teague. Close captioning for tonight's game is brought to you by Emerson, the global manufacturing and technology company. To learn more, visit Emerson.com. Emerson, consider it solved. One point lead for Southern Illinois. Good defense and man variety. Oops, Carter's good take. Justin. I'm going to quit saying stuff like that. Every time I say somebody's <laughs> doing something well, then they explode on me. Zone again. So when you're back coaching and your assistants say, don't say that, don't say that. <laughs> Carter's got seven early here for Craig. Fay and Southern Illinois has been able to attack inside. That wasn't exactly high to low. That was more side to side, but it still works. Antoine Young, can he shoot it? Yeah, he can. That shouldn't happen right there. He brought the ball down and got it to 15 feet without a real screen. That, those are the kind of things I think that have hurt Southern this year. And it drives Chris Lowry crazy. In that last decade I talked about, there aren't many times guys that just dribble down and shoot it. Nice pass between them. Blocked by Kenny Lawson Jr. or Carter. They both got a hand on it. I vote for Carter there. And now Carter slams into the basket support. Creighton is